an invention to make the world a cleaner place. One inventor is taking alternative fuels to the limits and filling up this tank with Mountain Dew. And it works. The system Pantone. It's an engine. It runs on what's in the Gulf right now. Do you drink a soda to get a bit of a jolt? Well, now it seems that Mountain Dew can also give a jolt enough to power up an engine. No kidding, folks. This engine is powered mostly by Mountain Dew along with a bit of gasoline. It's just one of the displays at the Exotic Research Conference 2000. The exhibit features many inventions like this lawnmower engine designed to run on alternative fuels and significantly reduce pollution. Cars, being able to get 100 miles a gallon. How about semis that can get 30 or 40 miles to the gallon? Or motorcycles, where you only have to fill it up once every four fill-ups. We have the ability to clean up our planet, we have it right now. What kind of uh, problems and snags that you've had into in the past, uh, and in, up until now? In production? And trying to, you know, Get it out into the world? Right, exactly. Give uh, some well, examples. Uh, a lot of the uh, partners that we've tried to partner up with have uh, basically locked us out of our own shops. You know, so they, they, we get a unit perfected, we're ready to go to production, they lock us out of the shop, and then we have to start all over again and go through the process of trying to get our you know, materials back. Have you had any uh, threats that you've received as far as uh, Not uh, me personally, but Paul's people? received many. Um, yeah, we've had our shops broken into, stuff stolen. Um, we've had uh, vehicles that we had uh, vandalized, parts stolen off of them. Happens all the time, unfortunately. So. Um, as far as actually producing the things, uh, we get a, a, a contract set up, we get the parts started to be manufactured, and then all of a sudden the price doubles <laughs> for what, uh, what they want to charge us to manufacture them. We're here at the Extraordinary Technology Conference. I have Paul Pantone. He is a well-known name in alternative energy. He's been around for uh, decades in this field. Uh, controversial figure, but he's done a lot of good. Um, I, I know Paul quite well. The thing that he's probably most famous for is, is this device, this idea of a bubbler where you're taking fuel, you could put really dirty stuff in here, and with this process he's able to run an engine cleanly, efficiently, and there's a lot of application. He, he does a, a, an academy where uh, people come take classes. How many people have taken your classes? In the last three years, about 500. 500 people. And about 25% uh, of them hold engineering degrees or PhDs. Okay. A lot of PhDs have taken an interest in, in this more o overseas than in the United States. Yes. You, you are more famous and revered uh, in, the in Europe than you are in America. In France right now, you can actually go in and take the class on GEET. Okay. And learn how to put this on tractors and cars, wherever yeah. you want. As in principle, uh, was man mit dem git system 54% no 54% okay or a one week crash course. but in utah they won't cover you on the local news i'm not allowed on the campus here okay not in the united states so but you've had a hard time getting things into the marketplace and and getting I, funding well i'm trying to concentrate on something that would have the greatest impact on mankind cleaning Which up is? the planet okay heat okay. and this is not politically friendly. The government gets too much money in road tax. And who else? Oil companies, uh, OPEC. Okay. Uh, How many people have put one of these things on their car and what happens when they put them on their car? Over 37,000 people took the free plans off the internet and wrote us emails saying that they had put it on engines. And they were running all over Europe, the United States, Africa. Now I want to, and you have a lot of people who have replicated this and I have met people who have built your device and say it works. Mm -hmm. And so I can tell you, as a witness of people who have, you know, who have witnessed mm -hmm. to me independently with no strings attached, that your stuff works. This is an interesting dance we do here, Paul, because we've had conversations like this a lot of times. Yes, we have. Yeah. You, you've had to do some politics. Some of the people that went in and filed complaints were employees uh -huh. who were involved in stealing $440,000 from me. So there's some conspiracy, some... some uh, 
dirty stuff going on. Yeah, and, and eight crooked attorneys, one after mm -hmm. another, that were supposed to be working for me, uh -huh. that turned around and they were working for the Attorney General. They took all the documents to defend me, handed them to their new partners, and said, here's what Paul's going to use to fight you. The Paul Pantone suppression case. Paul Pantone is the inventor of the GEET technology. GEET is an acronym standing for Global Environmental Energy Technology. The GEET replaces the standard carburetor and can cut pollution by up to 90%, plus save fuel on just about any internal combustion engine. He has suffered great damage to his health from the state. Despite the GEET being proven technology and available for many years, other Western countries do not have this fuel reforming emission cutting technology in place and faculties are still unaware of its power management process. This is partly due to the inventor and related GEET groups encountering interference uh, or suppression. Very interesting developments. George, take it away. We're here to celebrate solutions tonight. And I have an announcement along those lines. Um, throughout history, significant inventors have provided necessary technological reform needed for our very survival. Unless the masters of threatened parasitic institutions succeed in suppressing the new technology and the inventors. Mankind's destiny has already been set back hundreds of years by the ruthless persecution and suppression of great inventors like Nikola Tesla and his wireless power, Royal Life and his electronic treatment of cancer, um, Philo T. Farnsworth and his electronic fusion, many of you have probably never heard of that, and many, many, many more. Uh, now, we concluded some time ago that the one thing that most of these inventors never had was a grassroots public movement to support them and defend them. And so we thought, well, why don't we do that? So for the past three years, many of you have come by our booth and you've seen me pestering people about the plight of inventor Paul Pantone. Now, Paul Pantone, for 30 years, over 30 years, he's been developing a technology called GEEP, which stands for Global Environmental Energy Technology, and it did it um, doubles or triples your gas mileage as it reduces pollution, pollutants like hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, etc., by over 90%. Um, in the year 2000, he refused to sell out of his patents. Uh, he was framed uh, by vulture investors for securities fraud in Utah. In the year 2005, he was railroaded into the Utah State Mental Hospital. Uh, for an indefinite period, which looked like it was going to be the rest of his life. While he was there, he acquired for years, he had a broken foot. The list goes on and on and on. But basically, so about all that time, they were trying to break him physically, emotionally, and through caregiver neglect and medical abuse um, to get him to give up his patents 
um, take forced psychotropic medicine, which he never agreed to, and we, we fought successfully in the courts. And, uh, and just uh, to give up his patents and give up his life and give up his future, and he never gave in. The remarkable thing is that Paul Cantone conducted much of his legal defense from inside the walls of the Utah State Hospital without access and mostly from memory of law training he had received himself and his own life behind that. And we worked with him closely. There were over 100 people on the team uh, throughout the world who worked with him. And many people in this room have come by our booth and in Calc and written letters of encouragement. I want you all to know it really made a difference. So what it comes down to is on May 12, 2009, the state of Utah finally gave up and released Paul Pantone. creating a sanctuary for inventors throughout the world where they can be protected, they can be funded, they, can, uh, they will be respected and they will be treated ethically by individuals and corporations um, and, uh, and uh, protected by the grassroots. I would like to now introduce to you Paul Pantone. Paul, will you say if he's here by cell phone, he's just going to say a few words to you. Paul? Thank you, Paul. God bless you.